Hey guys, so if you've watched this channel much before, you probably know that I'm really good at convincing my Italian wife, Ava, to try foods that she's, well, less than enthusiastic about. Mommy, I... <laughs> it's, it's full of oil. The dough is full of oil. My hands are full of oil! <laughs> The one food that she has categorically refused to ever try under any circumstances is pineapple pizza. No matter how much I beg, no matter how much I plead, she refuses to try even a bite. Which is why I was really surprised when she woke up this morning uh, suddenly in the mood for pineapple pizza. Ava, are you excited to try pineapple pizza? Oh, see, si. I'm so excited. I cannot wait to try pineapple pizza. Arthur, what are you doing? Nothing. It's really so important for you, for me to try pineapple on pizza. Yes, it's one of my favorites, and I think you're really missing out. Okay, let's try pineapple on pizza. So here's the problem. Uh, we live in a part of Maine that's very beautiful, but also pretty rural, and the only pineapple pizza around is Domino's, which is just not gonna cut it. So are you willing to take a little trip to the nearest center of civilization? Um, yeah. Mm -hmm. Now that we're on the road, can you please explain to me a little bit more why you think that pineapple cannot work on pizza? It's not a problem with fruit on pizza because in Italy, for example, we have a pizza with figs. I assumed that you had a problem with the sweetness of the pineapple no, on pizza. No, the problem is that the pineapple is juicy. Juice. But, but tomato acid. is juicy. Tomato no, is juicy. No, but it's in a different way. The problem with the pineapple is that it's acid. And it's the acid acidic? See, si, acidic, sorry. What the heck kind of pineapple are you eating? <laughs> the acidic of the tomato. Wait a minute, wait a minute. What kind of acidic pineapples do you have in Italy? The pineapple that is acidic. And the tomato that is acidic doesn't go together. Well, we're almost to our destination. We'll see how acidic these pineapple pizzas are. Well, we've made the two hour trip here to beautiful Portland, Maine. Now, Maine is not really known for its pizza in general, but Portland has a burgeoning foodie culture. So if there's any place we can find a good pie, it's here. We could eat lobster instead of pineapple and pizza. Our first stop of the day is a pizza place called Pizzaiolo. 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 So it's Italian. <laughs> si. I've chosen this place for a very specific reason, which is that they make a kind of New York style pizza. Granted, we're here in Maine, we're not in New York, but it's probably pretty close. My theory is that pineapple, which is very sweet, works much better on a very salty pizza. And as you've pointed out, New York style pizza is much saltier than Italian pizza. You express your theory, but I have a fact. And the fact is that the pineapple doesn't go on pizza. And we have our pizza. I ordered a spicy Hawaiian pizza. So it's got jalapenos on it, which is my favorite way to eat a pineapple pizza. You have the spice, you have the sweet, it's delicious. So what do you say? Are you ready to try your first pineapple pizza? I'm already suffering. You haven't even tried the pizza yet. I know, there is written buon appetito, but I don't think that it's buon appetito this time. What do you think? Not just the pineapple. Uh-huh. But also the pepperoni. Oh yeah, I forgot to mention this pepperoni. Because you know how much I love pepperoni. Italia, sorry, I love you. Italia, I love you. You take the first bite. <laughs> oh, <baby. laughs> I'm really enjoying this. Come on. Come on. We've come this far. We've come this far. 
pineapple, pepperoni, all together. All together. And remind me why I'm doing this sacrifice. To show the world how open-minded Italians are. If I die, bring me back to Italy. <laughs> You're not gonna die. Mamma mia. What do you think? A new culinary experience? Now, I can officially say that pineapple on pizza is a crime. Actually, I'm not sure you can. Because even I, who like pineapple pizza, uh, I'm going to admit that this is not a very good pizza. No, oh, it's disgusting. In fact, I have to make a little confession. The only real reason I picked this pizza place was because, as it turns out, and I only discovered this once we got to Portland, uh, there seem to be only two pizza places here that are open and serve pineapple pizza. And this is one of them. And it's just not very good pizza. It's disgusting. Okay, that's not very good. Well, since this just generally isn't very good pizza, I think we should visit the one other place where we can get a pineapple pizza here in Portland. And not only is it supposed to be very good, in fact, many of our viewers have recommended it to us. Why you did this? <laughs> Why? <laughs> And here we are at Otto's Pizza. Otto's is pretty well known in the area and they're particularly famous for some pretty wacky uh, flavor combinations. For instance, they have a uh, mashed potatoes pizza, which I can only imagine what you think of. We have this in Italy. You have mashed potato pizza? Yeah. Wait, so mashed potato is fine on pizza, but pineapple is not? Yeah. Okay, well we're here to try the pineapple pizza. Well, as I said, this is the last place here in Portland, Maine where I can find a pineapple pizza, so this is my last chance to uh, turn you around. No way. No way. Well, you know, if you go into it with that kind of attitude, of course you're not gonna like it. That's... You had a bad pineapple pizza. Maybe this will be a good pineapple pizza. Yes, because there is a good pineapple pizza and a bad pineapple pizza. Okay, so we just ordered our, what is it, pineapple, bacon, and honey pizza. So there is also the honey? Honey, yes. And while we're waiting for that to be cooked up, we just couldn't resist getting a slice of the mashed potato scallion bacon pizza. Because I've never had mashed potato pizza, so apparently you have. And I want to try it. Potatoes on pizza, not that you think this strange. They go together perfect. Well, I'd like you to take the first bite to let me know in general how good of a potato pizza this is. You know what? What? I eat this. Give it to the pineapple. Is it good? You like it? Try, try it. Try it. Okay, that's really good. So I should say to our viewers who suggest this place, thank you because the pizza is good. My whole point for the day was to introduce you to something new, but in the process you introduced me to something new. Potato pizza, who knew? I'm still excited for our pineapple pizza to come out because if it's as good as this pizza, we're in for a treat. The moment has finally arrived. I'm sad. <laughs> Why are you sad? It because smells the, good. It the other one good. was really good. And now I have to destroy my opinion about this place because of this. Let's see which slice has the last pineapple. <laughs> How about this nice big one right there? No, this is a big chunk of pineapple. But I should, I, I should try. When yes. You, yeah. when Life. When in Rome. I take when when in Rome. <laughs> Ooh, I lost a piece of pineapple. I'm sorry.
you haven't spit it out yet. And you haven't started swearing at me yet. Okay, the suspense is killing me. What did you think? The first one was very bad. Agreed. But? I'm sorry. This is worst. <laughs> it's worse? Like. I think it's pretty good. <laughs> I think it's pretty good. You don't like the the sweetness of the pineapple and the honey with the saltiness of the pork? I was forgetting the honey. There is also the honey. That's why it's worse. <laughs> well, this is my last shot at turning you around to pineapple pizza here in Portland. So I guess I just have to throw in the towel and admit that there's just no way that you'll enjoy a pineapple pizza. To be fair, there is one way in which I can enjoy pineapple on pizza. And how's that? It's my way. Your way? And does your way involve cooking in our own kitchen? Always. Well, it's a bit of a drive back home from Portland, but luckily today's sponsor has us covered. Audible is the leading provider of spoken word entertainment. Whether you have a long commute or a 10 hour tempano to cook, Audible's there to keep you entertained and even teach you something new. I've been trying to improve my Italian language skills, which is why I've been listening to Learn Italian by Paul Noble. It's actually a really awesome method he uses to teach Italian, and it's perfect for someone like me who has always struggled to learn a foreign language using traditional methods. El mio italiano Sta migliorando. Molto, molto. If you want to brush up on your Italian or check out any of the thousands of titles available on Audible, visit audible.com slash pastagrammer or text pastagrammer to 500, 500 You'll get a free audiobook of your choice with your 30-day trial. That's audible.com slash pastagrammer or text pastagrammer to 500, 500. Ava, I thought this was supposed to be a pineapple pizza. If you're allowed here to add honey with pineapple on a pizza, I'm allowed to eat, uh, to add the strawberries with pineapple. Are you making a dessert pizza? A dessert pizza is cheating. Come on, it's not cheap. It's good. since Ava decided to cheat by making a dessert pizza for her pineapple pizza, she has graciously made this potato pizza as our main course. And I must say, if it wasn't for our earlier, very positive experience, I would have been pretty skeptical about this. Bon appetito. It's unlike anything I would ever have called a pizza, but there's just nothing better then the kind of roasted crispy potatoes and rosemary and the pizza dough helps, you know? Well, that was truly delicious, but let's not forget why we're really here. Show me that pineapple pizza. You know, I still think this is cheating, but I don't really care because it looks delicious. Well, another first for me today. I've never had a dessert pizza before. So this is your first time? This video was supposed to be about me showing you something new, but here we are. Oh, so now you want a piece with pineapple on it. Uh -huh. I see how it is. Guys, yeah, buon appetito. Buon appetito.
This is a pizza with pineapple. It works insanely well. The strawberry coolie as the sauce, the sweet ricotta, the fruit on top, and of course the pineapple. The pineapple lies with its uh, acidity. Here is perfect. And it's a pretty good way to end a rather pizza-filled day. I still like a good old Hawaiian though. Well, we better sign off before Ava has to murder me. Guys, if you want to try either of these pizzas at home, we will put the recipes down below. Please subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Follow us on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter, at Pastagrammar. See you next time. Ciao! Ciao!